Trip Frenzy Review Show. I'm Jeff and this is Bobby and we're sitting here by the pool. Yeah. Backside. Difference is difference is my feet are in the pool. Yours aren't. I do not. My sneakers come off for no one. Okay. It was a uh, hot and humid weekend, right? That is true. We had a little bit of rain Sunday towards the end there. Cooled things off a bit but then a second little shower came through and just bumped the humidity to another level. But uh, fortunately we didn't have to scrap any games or anything. We got everything in. So it's just enough rain to, to wet things a little bit, right? Yeah. And then just make it more humid. But that's okay. Absolutely. We'll start with our 9U championship game. Bobby, you watch this when you want to take that. Yep. We had the Midshore Bucks and All-Star Baseball Academy. Um, it was a good little game. We played there on field 9. Midshore Bucks won the championship 9-3. to three. And of course, Vince, uh, yeah, I know I didn't pick you. Sorry. All right. He had to fuss at me about not picking him. They always um, do. I know. Both teams had a great time. They enjoyed themselves, and they had a great game. And I did the 10U as well. Yes. Okay, yes, on did. field 12. So I had the Maryland Cardinals and Delaware Vipers, who have been in our championship game plenty of times. The Maryland Cardinals won that game 7-5. to five. Um, Their coach was a little overwhelmed. Uh, didn't know what to say. He, he was just... Emotional. Um, emotional. Emotional. Okay, now the Delaware Vipers, on the other hand, had actually gone 0-2 on Saturday. Really? And made it back through. Uh, yeah, back into the championship. So they did very well. Again, congratulations to our champions, the Maryland Cardinals in the 10U division. 12U. Neither one of us saw it, but you go No, forward. but looking at the score, it looks like it was a good one. I helped to get the field ready on this one. I was going back to my grounds crew roots. Uh, we had the New Jersey Bandits taking on the Brooklawn Bulldogs white. And looking at the score again, it looks like a close game. Uh, New Jersey Bandits coming out on top in our 12U division with a 7-5 victory over the Bulldogs. Congratulations to both of those teams. Our 13U division, this was a great game. I, I enjoyed watching this one. Uh, two very solid teams, Arena Stars Orange, who were twice the runner-up, I believe, okay. previously, versus the Head First Gamers. And this game ended up going nine innings. Uh, just a great game, great plays. Very fun to watch, two great teams. Arena Stars finally getting that championship, like you guys said. No more mini gloves for you guys. You finally got the jacket with the 6-5 to five win over the Gamers. Congratulations to both of those teams for a great championship game. Uh, 14U, we had, this was over on Field 8 this time, so I didn't I get did to that, watch yep. the 14. I did the trophy presentation. You did the trophy I managed to get that much. We had the Sports Zone Lookouts versus the Sports Zone River Bandits. They drove eight hours from what, Pittsburgh area? Correct right around Pittsburgh to come here to Delaware and play each other in a championship. So, Sports Zone Lookouts taking home that championship. Sports Zone River Bandits taking home the uh, runner-up. So we'll have a happy Sports Zone when they get back to Pittsburgh. That was a 9-2 game in favor of the Lookouts. The 15-16, this one was a long one, wasn't it? Yeah, I left, so did you. I, I left, left Pete well. here. Sorry, Pete. Uh, we had Diamond Dream CD, which is Chris DeJardin. DeJardin. Sounds mm -hmm. like a hockey player. Yeah, well, it also used to be part of uh, Preacher Man's team. Okay, taking on the Southern Maryland Storm over there on Field 7 in our Wood Bat Division 15-16 championship with Diamond Dreams taking home that championship. 12-9 to was the final score of that game. Congratulations to both of those teams. Uh, anything else you want to add from this, this past weekend? No. Any yeah, insight? Pretty good. No, that, other than hazy, hot, and humid, which I'm real tired of on the weekends, but yeah. I'll take it better than rain. Absolutely. Any day of the week, we don't have to bring out the stage dry. It's a good day. Absolutely. So we will see you guys shortly. Next up, our Father's Day tournament, the Poppy Palooza Festival preview coming up.